What I see in it is a portrait, a figure study, a domestic interior, and also a wonderful landscape. So it has a very complex context for a viewer. This is a painting of a little girl standing in a window on a snowy day in the winter and looking out at what appears to be a snowfall on the trees outside the window. She's about seven years old. She has strawberry blonde hair and a wonderful blue dress with a red apron on it. And the apron is what gives the painting its title, which is Child in a Red Apron. The artist is Berthe Marisot. She was a Parisian who lived in Paris all her life. She was original in the way she thought about and looked at things, and she continued to perfect her skills throughout her life, even with the restrictions of her social class. Those restrictions were significant for a woman in the 19th century from an upper middle class family. She really couldn't go into theaters or sit at cafes and paint street scenes, but she had access to her own domestic life, and she owned that life. She painted the interior of her own home. She painted her family on vacation. She painted landscapes, and she often included figures. At a certain time in her life, when she was already successful as a painter, she had her child, her first child, her only child, this beautiful daughter, Julie. And Julie becomes one of the great leitmotifs in Morisot's mature work. She uses brushes in a calligraphic way. That is, she, she makes marks with them that, that tell us something. They're not random marks, although they, they may look hurried um, or instantaneous or spontaneous. They're actually very specific to what she wants to depict. With the trees outside, and the trees are very barren, remember it's winter, she uses a much more stark and specific spare brush stroke to mark the barks of the trees. But for the snow that falls on top of those branches and catches, it's a feathery stroke. It resembles the way we think of snow, as a softness like snow. And we get a real sensation of, of a brightness and moisture and color that represents nature as it, as it appears to us, as it attracts us, if we were to look out that same window. The special thing about this view is that it feels as if we have entered a, a very interesting space and we are actually the ones who are looking at Julie, looking out the window. So the artist gives us the opportunity to see what she sees through her own eyes as we approach the back of her child. It's an important room. It was actually Berthe Morisot's own bedroom in a house that she and her husband, Eugène Manet, designed for their family. The effectiveness of the painting for me is that she succeeds on every level in the construction of architecture that puts us inside of, of a bedroom, in the evocation of a streetscape with chimneys and smoke coming out of them across the street, in the landscape of the trees, in the child's movement and, and in her stillness. It seems to the viewer, I think, at first glance to be a snapshot. But it is so much more than that. It's actually a very intimate and fluid painting of modern life. 